with Jay Powell set to testify before Congress today on inflation and whether or not the Fed had a hand in Bitcoin's rise, I figured I should give some quantum guidance in my own words as to what my theory indicates is going on. Right now, our government has no idea what is happening. They are in complete disarray because of what has happened in their physical economy as a result of COVID and therefore are completely confused as to what is happening in their financial system that led to the events like GameStop. It's almost like these people in government want our financial system to crash. If what is happening, the minting and use of CBDCs within the financial system is giving people hope, money, or the perception that everything is okay, then why does government have to know every little detail? I'll put it as bluntly as I see possible for you, okay? Yes, the Fed is and has since COVID been using crypto or more now commonly known as a CBDC to inflate slash repair the financial system. It is the cause and effect portion of my theory where our system gets off Libor and updates to the Ethereum 2.0 network. When the Fed buys treasuries using the London Interbank offered rate, they generate a return. Those returns are then invested in crypto because as I said earlier, America's goal is to get off the LIBOR system and the fastest, most innovative way to do that right now is via crypto. Not just Bitcoin, but the entire world of blockchain. This is how their CBDCs are created, okay? As they generate greater returns from their primary system's growth, the stock market, similarly to how a bank pays you, the consumer, interest to hold cash for you, Bitcoin does the exact same thing digitally. All Bitcoin is, is a digital storage of value. And if that value is made up of the USD, then as the system updates, it will progressively get better and more efficient. As they generate return in crypto, they reissue those profits out into the stock market via their liquidity injections. In simplest of terms, the reason you're questioning inflation is because banks have begun to realize how efficient this process is at correcting slash repairing their financial markets that they too have begun buying Bitcoin. The physical economy will never really notice this inflation unless they study it to the extent I have because they'll always assume it is what it always has been. Credit, because after all, just as credit never physically exchanges cash from one hand to another, it gives society the perception that money is moving, when in reality, it's all frozen in crypto. Because credit never physically moves cash, which if held in crypto, reflects what it truly is. Nothing. It's simply just a way to store money and or profits digitally. If governments continue to do liquidity injections, then the physical economy will never suffer as a result so long as the people are given a portion of that credit liquidity. The biggest risk bubbling up is only the risk of not doing something, as mentioned earlier, therefore allowing society and the stock market to collapse. If you want the system to go down, because unbeknownst to me, you're absolutely crazy, you will literally not have the ability to do anything you want at any point in time because the US will be in the biggest recession in history, the biggest depression, the biggest recession, whatever you want to call it, we're screwed. I don't think about that outcome because my theory continually works to prevent that outcome. So I suggest we start worrying about the risk of doing nothing. That's all Bitcoin's perceived value represents. The only thing society might have to deal with is negative interest rates. This might become an issue as more people shift from a bank holding their currency to having it invested slash stored in crypto. But if banks can already do this for them, then the Federal Reserve can have their CBDC injected right into their bank accounts via economic impact payments. But our government must act. If you give the people money, Instead of taking rates negative, they will never realize anything is wrong. If government wants the best advice from a quantum financial advisor, then stop doing nothing. Invest the money back into the stock market and give the people a portion of those profits. I personally use the 60-40 rule when moving my crypto profits into the financial system and into my bank account respectively. If the Federal Reserve suggests to Congress that they do the same with their money, then theoretically, we should begin to see a drastic positive change within the physical economy 
thus ridding the US of whatever COVID is slash was. This whole system update was just another meeting of the first name club. And I hope this brief message was beneficial to our heads of state. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and engage with me further on TikTok at BlackRock CEO and Twitter at BlackRock QFA. Thank you for considering this episode of Life with Kyle. And until next time, remember, in God we trust.